Koala. Koala. Hi, this is Merrick from Elf Audio again, and this is a short video on how to resample with Koala. So there are two main ways you can resample with Koala. The first thing you can do is if you have a sequence that you want to turn into a sample in one of these pads, um, that's this is what you would do. So let's let's just make a quick sequence. Just going to record something. Okay, so now we have a loop, and basically, if you go into the menu, there's this option called resample, and if you press it, it records your sequence into a sample, um, which is, you know, not that useful in itself, but then you can start pitching this up and down and doing interesting things with it, let's say, making copies of it at different pitches. Um, you can do thing interesting things like polyrhythms um but the one thing you can do that's quite nice is if you do have this pattern you can actually use the output effect to the mix effects rather to uh affect it and then resample that so um obviously when you're in the resample mode you can't actually touch these because the screen gets sort of taken over but you can actually use the hold button and what the hold button does is rather than the effects um, turning off when you let go with your finger, it uh, holds the effects down. So, for instance, uh, now we have some reverb. And let me run. there's some ring modulation. Um, so we're just going to sample with a bit of reverb. Uh, so if I go back up to the menu, press resample. So now, if we look back, we do have this sample with reverb which is the same as this but clear so that's one way and another way which is a little bit more direct and a little bit more fun is the changing here if you press this mic button you can change the input of koala uh, to be the output of koala now it, it doesn't uh, make a feedback loop ever um, it, there's a special bit of code that makes sure that doesn't happen um, but basically everything else you can you can capture so if I press resample and press this button um, that's uh, basically coming out of the app out of the app and back into the app again um, and you know the microphone itself is disabled um, so if I start a recording here and then pre press this button it basically just makes a new sample where it's recorded me pressing that button which in itself again is is not very useful but when combined with the microphone effects it becomes a little bit more useful so let's try and record that bass drum with some reverb so now we have a version of that sample with reverb um, and one thing you can do that's sort of quite useful with this is if you want something with a bit less reverb, you can take this one, turn the volume down a bit, and then play it at the same time as that one. And now we have something a little bit more subtle. And we can resample that because we're in resample mode. So hold down one of the pads and press the two buttons. So, so now we have this sort of more subtly reverberated effect and of course you know you know you can uh, keep doing this process pitching it down or adding more bass um, etc so you can just keep going um, and one, one other really nice feature I discovered is if you trim uh, any sound uh, down to a really really small amount like maybe something like that and you get this click noise if you put the click noise through the bass the more bass effect and resample, um, you start to get interesting sort of uh, bass drum sounds. Maybe that's a little bit heavy. Let me just trim that. Um, so yeah, there's there's a, a a lot you can do with resampling. It just um, makes the effects a lot more useful and lets you create really complex sounds. So that's resampling in Koala. Thanks a lot for watching. More coming soon. Koala.